grade 10 uh, beneficence, brilliance, okay, and grade 10 uh, modesty. Shout out sa inyong lahat. Magandang hapon po sa inyong lahat. Grade 10 modesty from JICA Extension. Good afternoon to all. Okay, thank you for joining and watching. Okay, also uh, grade 10 advocacy. Okay, so one of my handle students uh, from online distance learning. Good afternoon sa inyong lahat. Okay, thank you for joining. Ayan. So, uh, if you have already the link, kindly send it to other grade 10 learners so that together we may be able to learn a brand new lesson this afternoon. Ayan. So, thank you. Okay, Alison Santos, Rionico of Grade 10 Respect. Ayan, good afternoon sa inyong lahat dyan. Ayan, good afternoon. Okay, so, uh, as we go along with our discussion, as we are going along with our new topic, okay, so let me share you with these thoughts or this uh, quote. Okay, so from smithcreation.com, the, the biggest motivation is your own thoughts. So think big and motivate yourself to win. Ayan, so that is our thought for this afternoon and good afternoon to all. Okay. So before we proceed with our discussion, let me uh, greet everybody, uh, those who are uh, Felicians who are living in Kainta. Happy, happy advance or advance, happy, happy fiesta uh, sa inyo pong lahat dyan by December 1. Ayan. So uh, they will be celebrating the Feast of the Our Lady of Light. Okay, so Sumbintik Festival. So happy, happy fiesta po sa inyo pong lahat dyan. Okay. So speaking of light, okay, we are still in our uh, quarter two, this time week three of our discussion. Under force, motion, and energy pa rin po ang ating pong, uh, uh, topic for this afternoon. Okay. With the code, science 10, force, and energy, 2G-50. Okay. So what is the topic all about? So we will be focusing now in light, mirror, and the lens. But this afternoon, we will be focusing only with the reflection of light in the mirror. Ayan. So we already know that light or the visible light is one of the most important uh, spectrum in electromagnetic wave. Okay, And we all know that light is the is uh, the most uh, uh, how do you call it? This is the most uh, visible part. Okay, where eyes or our, our eyes are most sensitive to. Okay, in which we appreciate colors or regions of colors having this uh, electromagnetic wave. Okay, so that is the reflection of light. Okay, and for our content standard. Okay. So the content standard for this afternoon is the learners demonstrate an understanding of the image or the images formed by the different types of mirror and lenses. Okay? And for our learning competency, yan, okay, our learning competency this afternoon is predict the qualitative characteristics such as the orientation, the type and the magnification of images formed by the plane and the curved mirrors. Okay? So this is uh, our target most essential learning competency this afternoon. Okay? Now, to start with, let's analyze this illustration. And I want you to prepare and kindly answer me using your chat box there. What can you see when you look at the mirror? Okay. How about, or in a polished metal, what can you see? Or in a steel or calm pool of water, what can you see? Okay, so I'm, I'm asking everyone to please uh, type down your answer. What can you see when you look at the mirror? or in a polished metal, or in a water, or calm, or still pool of water, what can you see? 
Yeah, so let us wait for the answer of everybody who is joining here. Okay. Ayan. Uh, they are already starting uh, answering their uh, the question. Okay. So they have seen their reflection. Okay. Very good. So they've seen the reflection. Okay. Thank you for uh, your answer. You see yourself according to Imerson. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Ayan. Okay. So what you generally see in front of the mirror on a polished metal or in a steel cup full of water is actually your image or an image or what we call an image reflecting objects. Okay. Okay. So this is also known as your reflection. Okay. Now, these are all made possible due to one material or device that allows image to form. Okay, and what is that? And that is our mirror. Okay, now, how are we going to define the mirror? Okay, so here, a mirror is a reflecting surface usually made of polished metal or glass that has been coated with metallic substance. Okay, now mirror have two types. So what are the two types of mirror? So we have here the plain mirror. Okay. Yeah. So we we are fond of uh, taking pictures. Ama, mga great ten, nakaka-relate po kayo dyan, di ba? We are fond of taking pictures in front of a plain mirror. Then post it in Facebook or in Instagram, di ba? Or in Twitter. So di ba, pagka nakakuha tayo ng picture ng magandang angle sa harap ng plain mirror, that is already for posting. Instagrammable na, kumbaga, di ba? So, yan ang mga uh, ginagawa ng karamihan ng mga uh, grade 10 or ang ibang mga estudyante natin, di ba? So, they have the chance to take picture in front of the plain mirror. Okay? And that will serve as their profile pic already. Yan. Okay. And another type of mirror is, of course, the curved mirror. Okay, so these are the two types or the two classifications of mirror that we will going to discuss this afternoon. Okay, so tune in while we go along with our discussion. Okay, ayan. Now, you've said earlier that image are formed in a reflection. And what is a reflection? Okay, we all know that in grade 7 and in grade 8, you have discussed already that reflection is a wave property. Okay, it is one uh, type of property of wave. And since reflection is very much evident in light, reflection is the bouncing of light when it hits the surface like the plane mirror. In the diagram, okay, and po yung diagram na yon. Ayan, ito yung ating diagram, di ba? In the diagram, we use the plane mirror and locate the object's distance, P, and the image, Q, and found out that P equals Q. Ayan. In the plane mirror, the image appears as if it's behind the mirror, but actually it's not. So, the image is now called the virtual image. Ayan. So, when you see yourself in front of the mirror, you actually see your image and that type of image is a virtual image now why do we say so that the the image is virtual it is not real okay the orientation is erect it means it is upright it means the size of the image is the same as the size of the object or as you okay so it means it is equal that the object's height and the image height are the same. Okay, so whenever we see ourselves in front of the mirror, the distance to the mirror is the same to the distance of the image in the mirror. So all of the aspects there are equal. Ayan. So yun nga lang, pag humarap tayo sa mirror, ayan, sunod natin. The value therefore of image distance is negative. The height of the image h prime in the plane mirror is always the same as the height of the object. Therefore, 
the magnification is 1. Ayan. So, it means your height as an object is the same as the height of the image formed in front of the mirror. Ayan. So, uh, in, when, when you look yourself in front of the mirror, you actually say that there is what we call uh, a reversal. Okay, or a left or right reversal. Okay, wherein when you raise your right hand, is it is as if that you it is as if that the image raised raised the left hand, and when you raise your left hand, okay, in the mirror the image raised the right hand. Okay, so yun tinatawag natin na left right reversal. Yan. Now another thing is. When we talk of reflections, we are dealing with rays. Okay, these are the important rays that we will be dealing later on as we go along with diagramming. Okay, what what are these rays? Okay, first we have here what we call the incident ray. Okay, incident ray is the ray of light approaching the mirror, represented by an arrow approaching an opti optical element like the mirror. Ayan. So, pamaya tingnan natin, ano ba ang uh, appearance ni incident ray? The second ray is, of course, from the name itself, mayroon tayong tinatawag na reflected ray. Ayan. It is the ray of light that leaves the mirror and is represented by an arrow pointing away from the mirror. Ayan. So, that's, those are the important rays. Okay? in the process of reflection. Yan. Yan. And ito na siya ngayon, di ba? So, sabi natin, meron tayong tinatawag na dalawang klase ng ray, di ba? We have the incident ray and the reflected ray. Yan. So, here, the one that is pointing towards to the reflecting surface, so alam natin na yung reflecting surface, siya yung mirror, we call that as the incident ray towards to the mirror and the one that is bouncing back okay away from the reflecting surface we called it as the reflected ray okay now if you notice there is a normal line okay in between these two rays you have here the normal line okay the normal line in which separates the incident ray and the reflected ray. And all of this line or ray are uh, lying on the surface of a reflecting mirror. Ayan. Okay. So, a normal line is an imaginary line that can be drawn perpendicular to the surface of the mirror at the point of incidence where the ray strikes the mirror. Ayan. Okay. Next. Okay, so it is already mentioned that the normal line, the incident ray, and the reflected ray lie on the same plane. So like what I've said, they are all lying on the same plane. Okay, since we are talking about the plane mirror. Okay, now, since you already formed the incident ray and the reflected ray, let us determine now the angle of incidence versus the angle of reflection, okay? Take a look at this simple activity, okay? Okay, now, in our activity this afternoon, you have seen that there is a plane mirror with a protractor. And you know already that a protractor is a device that uses certain angle, okay? And then, uh, we will be using here, okay? Next, okay? So, it has just shown here the materials to be used. Okay, so let's now proceed. Okay, so this time, we will be using laser, okay, to determine the behavior of the incident ray and 
the reflected ray. Ayan. Okay. So, I use a laser here to point towards to a certain angle. Okay. And observe what wood likely gives off. Ayan. Okay. So, I made three trials here on a certain angle. All right. So I hope you are uh, uh, take it closely to the recorded uh, activity activity here. Ayan. Okay. Ayan. Okay. So as you look at the activity, ayan, as you look at the activity, what have you noticed? Okay, what have you noticed? If I point out to a certain degree, okay, that will serve as your incident ray, okay, what would be its effect to the other side, okay, in the mirror? Okay, sige nga. Tantay tayo ng mga sasagot dyan. Okay, what have you noticed? So let's wait for the response of the grade 10. So I have pointed their three angles, okay, namely 20 degrees, 40 degrees, and then 60 degrees. Okay, there you have it. It forms a reflection. But how are you going to account on the degrees, okay, formed, okay, in front of the mirror? What is its effect? Okay, it is perpendicular to each other. Okay, ano po ang ano po ang nakita po natin doon? Nagpoint po ako ng uh, tatlong angles. First is 20 degrees, then we have 40 degrees. Okay, and then you have there 60 degrees. Okay, it bounces back. Thank you, Giselle Velasco. Okay, thank you. So, its effect would be it gives off the same value of the degree. Okay, what do I mean? Ayan. So, here, we can say that there are three observations of angle form, okay, in the incident ray. We called it as the angle of Incidence. Okay, according to Mia Francine Branzuela, it have the same angle. Okay, the same as true with Jana Andrea Dula, have the same angle. Okay, thank you for uh, the answer. It shows that the same image in the reflection. Thank you, Rich. Okay, what else? There are congruent angles. Thank you. It will bounce back. Okay, same as each point. Okay, thank you for your observation. So if if my first angle here is 20 degree, okay, what do you think is the angle form between the normal line and the angle and the reflected ray, which is called it as an angle of reflection? 30 degrees, is it 30 degrees? I have here 20 degrees, 40 degrees, and 60 degrees. For 20 degrees, what would be our angle here? Okay, so let's wait for the answers of the grade 10. Okay, so according to Maddox Lewis, it's also 20 degrees. The same as true with Leila Pasa, Levi Samonte. Yan, thank you, Charis Uy. They are all 20 degrees. Let's see if the answer is correct. Ayun, okay, it's also 20 degrees. How about if I pointed towards 40 degrees? What would be the angle of reflection? 40 degrees. Yeah, let's wait for the answers of uh, the grade 10.
Ayun, okay. According to Rose Angeline Magno, it's also the same as 40 degrees. Shire Glaze Mendoza. Ayan, 40 degrees. Okay, let us see if the answer is correct. Ayun, it's also 40 degrees. How about if I pointed it towards 60 degrees? The angle of incidence is 60 degrees. What would be the angle of reflection? Ayan. Okay, so let's wait. Okay. Ayun, okay. From Pam Montoya, Shire Glaze, Mendoza, Rich Miranda, uh, all of their answers is 60 degrees. Ayan, Arabella Apolonio. Ayan, 60 degrees din. Now, what does it mean? What does it says? Okay, what does it says? So, here, accordingly, The angle between the incident ray and the normal line is known as the angle of incidence. And the angle between the reflected ray and the normal line is the angle of reflection. Therefore, in the activity presented at the video, we can say that the angle of incidence is equal to the angle of reflection. And this is now called as the law of reflection. Okay? The law of reflection states that the angle of incidence is the same or equal or congruent to the angle of reflection. Okay, thank you. Yeah, and that's why it is possible for us to see our image of the same uh, height with, ganyan, pag humarap tayo sa plane mirror. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Thank you for the responses. Okay, ayan. Now, let's move on to the types of reflection. Types of reflection can be divided into two. Okay, first, meron tayong tinatawag na specular or regular reflection. Okay, what does this regular re reflection says? This is a reflection of light in the smooth surfaces such as the mirrors or a calm body of water. Okay, uh, gustong-gusto natin na nakikita ang ating mga sarili sa isang salamin. Okay, kasi uh, it will, uh, it will uh, gives us okay, uh, the, the good side of our image. Okay, let us see what does it says. Okay, pag sinabi nating specular or regular reflection, all angles form between the incident rays and the reflected rays are all equal. Di ba? So it means wala siyang kahit anong uh, distortion. Okay, all of them are equal. Okay, what is the what is the example of this illustration? Okay. Ayan. Okay, so we love to see the, the nature. Okay, it's it's a work of art. Okay? So you love to see a mountain that has an equal image or reflection on a calm body of water like this. Okay, sa mga mahihilig sa arts dyan, di ba? Ang ganda-ganda ng pagkaganito, nakikita nating nature, di ba? Okay, the same as true with uh, a mountain also here, that the image is being reflected in a calm body of water. Ayan, uh, sasabihin natin, absolutely perfect ang, ang appearance ng illustration. Okay, and of course, uh, here, an example of the Sky. Okay? So, ang ganda-ganda na pareho ang nasa taas at nasa baba ang nakikita natin. Okay. So, that is an example of the specular or the regular reflection. Yan. Okay. Next. How about the second type of reflection? Okay. Ito naman yung isang type ng reflection. Okay. You may have a similar uh, incident trace. But the reflected rays goes into different direction. It creates different angles. Diba? So this is what we call the diffuse or irregular reflection. Yan. What does it say? This type of reflection of light on a rough surfaces such as clothing, paper, wavy water, and the asphalt roadway. Yan. So 
Ito, makikita ninyo na parang distorted ang image. Okay? Parang hindi siya ganoon kaganda. Okay? Pagka tinignan natin ang kanyang image. Okay? Let us see what are the example of this. Okay? For diffused or irregular reflection, we have here. Ayan. So, you have here the object of the castle or the castles. Uh, the castle here is our object. And then, as you've seen, the image at the distorted water, you've seen that the water is wavy. Okay? So, hindi ganon clear yung itsura ng castle. Diba? Okay? Next. Ayan. Isa pa dito, itong mountain. Okay? Kapag ka-disturb ang water, okay, you may see that the water is somehow wavy. You may see an image that is also distorted. Ayan. Okay, so that those are an example of the diffused or irregular reflection. Okay, so again, the two types of reflection are the specular or regular reflection and the diffused or the irregular reflection. Okay, Ayan. Now, let's move to the curved mirrors. Ayan. So we'll now proceed to the curved mirrors. Okay, and... We define it as curved mirror is a reflecting surface in which its surface is a section of a sphere. Okay? So, tinatawag din natin sila na spherical mirror. Okay? Or sphered mir mirror. Diba? There are two kinds of curved mirrors. The concave and the convex mirrors. A spoon is a kind of curved mirror with both the concave and the convex surfaces. Ayan. So, uh, that is the definition of our curved mirror. Okay? Now, so, uh, there is somehow a little difference between the plane mirror and the curved mirror. We'll find out what's that. Okay? Ayan. Okay. So, these are the types or the kinds of the spherical mirrors. We have first, the concave mirror. Okay? So, pag sinabi natin concave mirror, it is a curved mirror in which the reflective surface bulges away from the light source. It is also called as the converging mirror because the parallel incident rays converge or meet or intersect at a focal point after the reflection. So if you notice here in the diagram, all of the rays here that are parallel to each other, they are considered as incident rays. When they created a reflected ray, all reflected rays uh, intersect at one common point. Okay? So yan tinatawag natin na converging mirror. Okay? Parang yung inaral natin, ng first quarter, di ba? Yung convergent boundary, di ba? They meet at one point, di ba? So, the same as true with the concave mirror. There is a point of intersection. Okay. However, pag sinabi naman natin convex mirror, ayan, nakita natin sa illustration, di ba? It is a curved mirror in which the reflective surface bulges towards the light source. Ayan. It is also called as the diverging mirror because the parallel incident rays diverge after reflection. When extending the reflected rays behind the mirror, the rays converge at the focus behind the mirror. So you may see here that there are rays that tends to diverge, okay? Okay, after hitting the mirror. Okay. Now, to better understand the uh, the rays formed here, we will be discussing ray diagram. Okay. To better understand what kind of image is being formed by the concave mirror and the convex mirror. Okay. So let's proceed. Ayan. So to better understand the image formed in the Concave muna. So, magko-concave uh, mirror muna tayo. Ano? Let's get familiar first with the parts. Okay. Familiarize muna tayo sa mga parts. Okay? So, here, we have here first. Ayan. Ito yung tinutukoy natin na principal axis. 
Okay, the principal axis is the horizontal line. Okay, that tends to meet with the curved mirror. Okay, next, we have here the concave mirror. Okay, so itong nakatulo dito, ito yung tinatawag natin na concave mirror. Okay, next. Of course, we have here the vertex. Okay, it is symbolized by V. This is where the, the concave mirror or the mirror and the principal axis meet. Okay, next. We have here the focus. Ayan. Okay, uh, that is one part of the illustration. Okay, and then we have here the center. Okay, it is also known as the center of curvature. Okay, since we are dealing with spherical mirrors. Okay, now, the distance between the, fo the focus and the vertex we call is as the focal length. Okay, focal length po yan. Okay, so kung uh, analyze natin para siyang sa circle, uh, we can assume it as the radius. Okay? And then the distance naman ng uh, center to the, ver uh, to the vertex, okay? So parang associate natin siya as the diameter of the circle. Okay? So uh, let us associate that in that way. Okay? So again, the main parts are the principal axis, the center, the focus, the vertex, and of course, our mirror. Okay? So that's it. Next. Ayan. Now, how are we going to describe the image form in the curved mirror, particularly in the concave mirror? Okay. We will be using this kind of acronym. Okay? And that is LOST. Okay? But you will never get lost in identifying and describing the image form using the curved mirror. There are uh, specific uh, identification for each letter. What does L stands for? Okay, so L stands for the location of the image. Okay, where can we find the image? Okay, after the rays, the incident rays and the reflected rays had formed. Okay, let's have the O. What does O stands for? Okay, O stands for the orientation of the image. Is it inverted or upright? So, pwede rin natin sabihing, is it upright and erect? Okay, next. S stands for the size of the image. Ayan. Size, it means, is it smaller than the object? Is it enlarged? than the object or larger than the object or is it diminished? Okay? Next, and the T stands for the type of the image. And when we talk of type of image, is it virtual? Okay? Or is it real? Okay? Paano ba natin masasabi na virtual ang image na na-form? Paano ba natin nasabi na real ang image na na-form? Okay? Out of this uh, Example. Ayan. Let's try. Okay. Now, in ray diagramming, it is very important that we are, uh, that we must be guided with the following uh, rules. Okay. This time, we will be talking about the four principal rays. Okay. So, ano ano ba itong four principal rays na ito? Okay. Let's take a look at our first example here. Ayan. So let us say that this would be your object, okay? An arrow with a certain height, okay? And we will going to find the image of this. And how are we going to find the image of this? We will be using the four principal rays, okay? What is the first ray? The first ray is the principal axis focus ray or what we call the PF ray. Okay, what does it says? A ray of light parallel to the principal axis hit the mirror, then reflected through the focus. Okay. Anong ibig sabihin nun? You need to draw a ray that is parallel to the principal axis, then will hit the mirror. So, ito po yun. Okay. 
after hitting the mirror, it will be reflected through the focus. What does, what does it mean? Ayun. Okay. So, you already formed the PF ray. Okay. Okay. Again, uh, a ray of light parallel to the principal axis, then hit the mirror, then reflected through the focus. Okay. So, that is our first uh, principal rays. Okay. Next. Our second ray would be, or rays would be, the FP ray or the focus principal axis ray. So, medyo baliktad naman to. Okay. So, what does it says? From the top of the object or from the head of the object, a ray of light passing through the focus hit the mirror reflected parallel to the principal axis. Ayan. So, makikita natin na uh, there is a ray that will pass through the focus and then will hit the mirror. Then it will create another ray that is parallel to the principal axis. Okay, let us see what does it looks like. Ayun. Okay, so from the head, from the top of the object, hit the mirror, hit the focus or passing through the focus, and then will hit the mirror. Then it does create a parallel ray. To the principal axis or a ray that is parallel to the principal axis and that is your reflected ray okay next our third is the cc ray okay the center to center ray so what does it says a ray of light passing through the center of curvature back along its own path Ayan. so Paano naman kaya mangyayari yun? So, you have here the center of curvature. Okay, let us see. How does it look like? Ayun. Okay, so you've started again from the head or on the top of the object, down and passing through the center. Okay. So, ano nang napapansin ninyo? Ano na pong napapansin ninyo? Mga grade, ka grade 10. Okay, so you may see that there is something that is uh, formed. Okay, so let us find out later on what, what would likely form. Ayan. And the fourth ray would be, ayan, the vertex ray or the V-ray. Ayan, a ray of light directed forwards to the vertex, ayan, reflected at equal angle from the principal axis. So dito, ilalagay na natin yung angle of incidence is equal to angle of reflection. How does it says? Ayan. Okay. So you will going to draw again a ray from the head of the object or from the top of the object towards to the vertex. Ayan. Okay. And then we'll bounce back with equal angle from the principal axis. Okay, there you have it. There is also another ray form. Okay, so you may notice here, class, you may now notice here that the angle of incidence form is the same as true with the angle of reflection. Okay? Okay, so let me draw here. So the angle formed here is the same as the angle formed on the other side. Okay? Okay, but of course, there is something uh, that we can do on with our image. How are we going to describe it now? Yan. How are we going to describe it now? Okay. Ayun. Okay. You may see that the image would likely form Okay, under the principal axis. Now, how are we going to describe it? This time, we will be using now our acronym LOS. Ito na ting LOS, di ba? Uh, what does L stands for? So, we are dealing with the location, di ba? Location. Okay, sabi ni Sean, there is an intersection. Very good. 
Okay, there uh, there are common point, di ba? Where reflected rays used to meet. Okay, so our L stands for the location. So where can we find? Where can we find the image formed out of these rays? Okay, sa natin siya makikita. Okay, I wanna see some response from the grade ten. Okay, what would be our answer here? Where is the location of the image? Saan po? Ayan. Okay. Let's wait for the uh, response. Okay. So I think there is already answer. Okay, so according to Sean again, it is near at the center. Okay, correct. Party, uh, specifically, where can we find or where can we find at the intersection po under the center? Okay, thank you, Rich, for the answer. Actually, we found the image. Okay, according to Jiran, at the focus or in the vertex. Okay, we actually, we actually formed the image here, and it is located. The image is found between the center and the focus. Okay? It is found between the center and the focus. Ayan. Sabi ni Chloe Denise Paharon. It is found between the center and the focus. Ayan. Now, what would be the orientation? Okay. Ano sabi ko kanina? Pag sinabing orientation, is it inverted or is it upright? What would be the orientation of the image? Let us see. Saan kaya, ano magiging orientation niya? Is it upright or uh, inverted? Okay, so according to Matthew Fabia, it is inverted. Okay, at Maddox, it is also inver inverted. Inverted, according to Nicole, Rose Ann, Montojo, inverted. Okay, thank you. So let us see if the answer is inverted. Okay, so kitang-kita naman natin ng image. Inverted siya, di ba? Okay, baliktad. Okay, next, what would be the size? Try to compare the object's height and the image height okay what can you say about the image okay when it comes to its size ayan okay so the grade 10 are now uh, having an answer here okay Oh, so, okay, so somebody answered it. it is smaller. Okay, smaller. Ano pa? Ano pa kayong sagot ng iba? Okay, smaller. So let us see if the answer is smaller. So try to include also the comparison between the object and the image. So we can say here now that the image is smaller than the object. Okay, correct. Correct ang mga sagot natin, mga grade 10. Okay, the image is smaller. Then compare it to the object. Okay, we are trying to compare the object and the image using the curved mirror. Ayan, so nakakaroon tayo ng point of comparison po dito. Okay, now, what could be the type of image form? Ayan, ano masasabi natin sa image? Okay, so... It is found between the center and the focus. It is inverted. Okay. It is smaller than the object. Therefore, what type of image is formed? Okay. Dalawa lang pagpipila niya dyan. Is it virtual or is it real? Is it virtual or is it real? 
Okay. Ayan, shout out daw muna sa mga Great Ten Perseverance. Hello, hello. Good afternoon sa inyong lahat. Hello, hello. Good afternoon po sa inyong lahat. Okay. Ayan, so Okay. Ayan, magandang hapon po sa inyong lahat. Okay, the answer now is Ano kaya? Ano kaya sagot natin? So the answer would be Ayan, according to Angel Vernice Petalio. Okay, it is a real image. Okay, class. So class, pag sinabi natin real image, the image is inverted. Okay, so baligtad siya. Okay, so try to look at the, try to get a spoon. Okay, and look at the concave side of the spoon. Okay, you may see your image inverted. Okay, baligtad. Diba? Ang itsura natin doon sa spoon. Okay. So, yes, tama ang sagot nila Jureen. Ayan. Okay. So, nila Sean. Okay. Idea. Ayan. It is a real image. Pag sinabi natin class virtual image, you see uh, your image, okay, upright. Okay. Erect. Okay. That is virtual image. Katulad nito. Okay. As I sit in front of my laptop here, okay, what you've seen here is a virtual uh, image. Okay, in a virtual ito. Okay, hindi naman ako baliktad na nakikita ninyo, di ba? It is virtual. Ito tong uh, uh, at this moment. Okay? So, that's how we describe the image form using the rate diagram, okay? Using the four principal rays. So again, so let me repeat. You have here the PF ray, the FP ray, the CC ray, and the vertex ray. Ayan. So I hope uh, you learned something about the ray diagramming of the object to form an image using a concave mirror. Okay? Using the ray diagram. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much sa mga nag-response. Let's move on now. So, if we have the concave mirror, we have also the convex naman. So, the same as true, pag sinabi naman natin convex, it has also the same parts, the same as with the concave. Meron pa rin niyang vertex. Ayan. So, meron pa rin niyang principal axis. Meron pa rin niyang convex mirror. Okay? Yan. Kanina concave, di ba? Convex naman tayo ngayon. And then we have also here the vertex. Okay, we have also here the center of the curvature and the focus. Ayan. So the same parts pa rin. Ang naiba lang, we use the convex mirror. Okay? Okay. Now, let us try to make another ray diagram using the convex mirror. Okay? So, let us assume, okay, let us assume here that the object is found here at the principal axis. Yan. Okay. We will going to use also the same four principal rays. But this time, there is somehow little difference with the concave mirror. Okay. So, take a look at this first rule. We will, we will be using again the PF ray or the principal axis focus ray. Okay. A ray of light parallel to the principal axis that will hit the mirror. Then reflected through the focus. Okay, what does it mean? Okay. Ayan. So you've seen that a ray of light hits the mirror. Okay. Then will uh, reflect it. Ayun, nag-reflect siya. Pero meron tayong imaginary line that will certainly pass through the focus. Okay. Yan yung part ng reflected ray. Okay? So again, you have here the principal axis or the incident ray that is parallel to the principal axis that will bounce back as it hit the mirror. 
then it will create a reflected ray. Okay, this time there is an imaginary line or ray that pass through the focus. Okay, next. Ayan, the FP ray. Okay. The FP ray, okay, from the top of the object, a ray of light passing through the focus, hit the mirror, and reflected parallel to the principal axis. So, ano naman kaya ang ibig sabihin nito? Okay. Ayun. Okay. So, certainly, if you will going to create a array here, it will uh, directly hit the focus, but this time, it will bounce back parallel to the principal axis. But then again, there is another imaginary line that will also hit the focus. Ayan. So that is our second to the four principal ways. Okay? Next, our third part would be, or our third ray would be, the CC ray. Ayan. Center to center ray pa rin. A ray of light passing through the center of the curvature back along its own path. Okay. Tingnan natin kung ano magiging itsura niya. Ayun. Okay. It, it hits again. Okay. The mirror. But it also creates an imaginary line that passes through the center of curvature. Ayan. Okay. So, that is our third ray. Yan. And of course, our fourth ray would be the vertex ray. A ray of light directed towards the vertex reflected at equal angle from the principal axis. Still, we will going to follow the law of reflection here. Okay? That equal ang uh, angle of incidence must be equal to the angle of reflection. How does it says? Ayun. So, from the head again of the object down to the vertex, okay, okay, it does create an angle. Ayun. There is another ray form that is bounced back, okay? And it creates an imaginary line towards to the other side. Okay, so you've seen that there are already diverging rays that form because we are dealing with convex mirror. Okay. Now, what have you noticed? Was there any point of intersection to consider out of the different rays that form? Meron ba? Meron ba kayo nakitang point of intersection para makitaan natin na meron tayong image na na-form? Okay. Do we have it? Do we have it? Okay, so nasan po kaya? Ayun! Okay, there you have it. There is an intersection of the reflected rays. Although it is imaginary, there is already an intersection. Okay? Now, how are we going to how are we going to uh, describe it? Okay, the same as true, we will going to Yan, meron tayong image na na-form, di ba? So, ayan. We will be using again the laws. Ayan. The location, orientation, the size, and the type of image formed. Ayan. Okay. So, what do you think? Where is the location of the image? Saan kaya makikita ang image? Ayan, sabi ni Jul May Agam, opo, totoo, yes po, ayan, meron po, sabi ni, ni Danica Luz Patungan, okay, Gerald Isidro, yes po, okay, thank you for your responses. Okay, where is the location of the image? Itingnan na lang ninyo, nasa ng image? It is located where? Okay, so it is located at the image is found between the vertex and the focus. Ayan. Okay. What would be the orientation? What would be the orientation? Hmm. Is it inverted or is it 
upright. Is it inverted or upright? Okay. Ayan. Okay. Okay, so it is erect or upright. Ayan. So makita mo siya. Stand still. Kung anong stand ni object, ganun din ang stand ni image. Ayan, upright. Ayan. Thank you sa mga nag-response. Okay, it is found at the middle of the vertex and the focus. Ayan, thank you for your responses. Okay, now let's compare the size of the image to the object. What can you say about the image? What can you say about the image? Okay. Ayan, wait natin ang response. Okay, so we can say that the image is somehow smaller than the object. So pag tingin natin dito, medyo maliit siya kumpara kay object. Okay, that's how we compare it to the object. Okay, the image is smaller than the object. Now, what type of image is formed? O, dalawa uli yan pagpipilian nyo. Is it virtual or is it real image? Is it virtual or is it real? Yan. Yan. Sa, yan. Okay, tama ang mga sagot ng mga, ang mga grade 10. Smaller po. Okay po. Okay, according to Matthew Fabia, it is virtual po. Okay. Okay. Let us see. Ayun. Okay, Nicole, Margaret, Aurel, it is virtual po. Opo. So let us see if the answer is correct. Ayun. Okay. The type of image formed is virtual image. So again, pag sinabi natin virtual image, the orientation is erect and upright. Ayan. So that's how we describe the, of the image form, okay, using the convex mirror. Okay, I hope uh, this illustration or discussion about ray diagramming between the concave and the convex mirror uh, help, you and help you understand how does the image is being formed. Okay? So, that's it. So, kung sa plane mirror, pareho lang, di ba? Yung image and the object, sa convex at sa concave mirror, medyo uh, iba. Okay? So, through the ray diagram, we can determine the image form. Okay. So, this time, okay, grade 10. Uh, let's have some sort of exercises. So, all you have to do here is to answer me with correct or incorrect. Okay, it's a matter of true or false. Okay? So let's start. Number one. Okay. The incident ray and the reflected ray are the same. The incident ray and the reflected ray are the same. Pareho lang daw ba ang incident ray at ang, ang reflected ray? Is it correct or incorrect? Okay, let us wait for the answer. The incident ray and the reflected ray are the same. Okay, let us see. The answer would be, are they the same? Okay, they are not the same, okay? So the incident ray is the ray that strikes on the mirror while the reflected ray is the ray that bounces back as a result of reflection, okay? Next, number two. A mirror is an optical device that can reflect light. A mirror is an optical device that can reflect light. Is it correct or incorrect?
Number two. Okay, so the answer would be, ayan, it is correct. Okay, a mirror is an optical device that can reflect light. Okay, thank you kay Iverson, kabigting. Okay, Rich Miranda, Jaran Isidro. Okay, number two, it is correct. Number three, the angle of incidence is equal to the angle of reflection. Is it correct? Or incorrect? Okay, so, yan. The same, uh, nagsasagot pa rin pala sila sa question number two. Okay, uh, all of the answers are correct for number two. Yan. For number three, the angle of incidence is equal to the angle of reflection. Ayun, okay, according to Charis, uy, it's correct. Ayun, that is correct. That is actually the law of reflection. Okay? Next. Okay, let's have number four. The image formed at the mirror is called virtual image. The image formed at the mirror. Okay, uh, I'm referring here the plain mirror. Sorry, the plain mirror is called virtual image. Okay? Is it correct or incorrect? Okay. Let's wait for the response of others. Okay. Yeah, and the answer is correct. Okay, so I'm referring here to the plane mirror. The image formed at the plane mirror is called virtual image. Okay, so it's correct. Okay, number four, number five. Number five. Okay, the distance and the height of the object is not the same as the height and the distance of the image formed at the plane mirror. Sorry, nalagyan ko na naman ng plane mirror. The distance and the height of the object is not the same as the height and the distance of image formed at the plane mirror. Is it correct or incorrect? Yan. Okay, so they are still uh, answering. Okay. So waiting for the answers for number five. Okay, the answer would be, ayan, incorrect. Eloisa Oximas, okay. Thea Ramirez, Arabel Apolonio, Shaira Glaze Mendoza. Yes, your all answers are incorrect, but they are correct. Okay, the answer is incorrect. Okay, thank you for the response. Ayan, ayan. So thank you, thank you for uh, your responses. Okay. So at this juncture, Okay, so we actually end up with our session this afternoon. But I want you to be reminded of the following. Okay, so this would be your uh, scheduled weekly home learning plan for this week starting Monday, today, November 29, 2021. Okay, so uh, actually we have two days of... Uh, of uh, no class here. That is November 30 and December 1. But actually, you can still work on with this task, okay? So for Monday today, you will be doing performance task number 3. Okay, ano yun? Ayan, ito po yun, okay? The mirror left and right reversal, okay? So here, you, will, you, were, uh, you were tasked uh, to use the letters of the alphabet. Okay, and you will going to think of words and you will going to place a mirror, okay, and find out if those letters are having the same image in front of the plain mirror. Okay, so just follow the instructions given here. Okay, next for uh, the second day, that would be a learning task three. This would be. Ayun. 
Okay. The image in a spherical mirrors. Ayan. Katulad ng sinabi ko kanina. You were asked to get a shiny metallic spoon. And you will go, this will serve as your uh, mirror. And you're going to look yourself in the mirror. And you will going to find out your, describe your image. Okay. So, kindly look. And then describe the image form in the spoon. Okay. Just follow the instruction given. And on the third day, yan, learning task seven, okay, wherein you will going to compare the qualitative description of image between the convex mirror and the concave mirror. Kung nakinig po kanina dun sa ating discussion, you have already the idea. Okay? So again, so that is your learning task number seven for the third day. And for the fourth day, you will be doing written work. Okay, that is already given to you, either hard copy or soft copy. Okay, yan. Okay, so our reference here is the science then, of course, of our self-learning module, page 20 to 25. Ayan, so with that, okay. Next, okay, so if we have discussed here today the image formed in the plane mirror and in a curved mirror, next up, we will be discussing the image formed by the lens. Ayan, so continuation po yan next week, okay? And with that, I am Sir Rowell Engreso, your grade 10 science teacher, having and saying thank you, keep safe, and uh, good afternoon to each and every one of you. So thank you. Thank you so much. And we'll see you again each other on next week. Thank you and goodbye.